वेलकम एंड नमस्कार सिम्युलेशन वन मोर केस एंड यू वुड हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट वन बाय वन वी आर टेकिंग मोर एंड मोर इंटरेस्टिंग केसेस एंड दिस टाइम वी आर विथ अ केस वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू से प्रिडिक्ट अबाउट वेदर एंड रेनफॉल और प्रिसिपिटेशन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ सिम्युलेशन टेक्निक Let's first of all discuss the case or problem. The occurrence of rain in a city on a day is dependent upon whether it rained on the previous day. So whether it will rain today or not is dependent on whether it was raining yesterday or not. If it rained on the previous day, the rain distribution or probability distribution of rain is as event and probability. rain on previous day so if yesterday it was raining then this is the probability of rain today no rain probability 0.5 or 50% 1 cm rain probability 0.25 2 cm 0.15 3 cm 0.05 4 cm 0.03 and 5 cm 0.02 yes as i had told many a times earlier that this kind of probability distribution can be prepared on the basis of the past data okay now number 2 it did not rain the previous day the rain distribution is given by okay if there was no rain yesterday then what can be the situation of weather or rain as on today the probability distribution based on the past data is as follows no rain on previous day No rain today. Probability 0.75. One centimeter rain today. 0.15. Two centimeters. 0.06 and three centimeters. 0.04. Okay. Simulate the city's weather for ten days or next ten days and determine by simulation the total days without rain, as well as the total rainfall during the period of ten days. Use the following random numbers. Yes. Ten random numbers have been given in the problem or question itself, which I have written with reference to the day. Yes. Assume that for the first day of the simulation, it had no rain. It had not rained the day before. That means, if we take first day for simulation, we need to assume that on the day before this first day, there was no rain. Yes. Okay. Now what? First of all, let's. go for the first thing which is common for all say solution of all simulation problems and that is to prepare cumulative probability distribution and determine the random number ranges or intervals yes cumulative probability distribution in the case where rain on previous day first remains 0.5 plus 0.25 means 0.75 plus 0.5 means 0.90 plus 0.05 means 0.95 Plus 0.03 means 0.98 and plus 0.02 means 1. Yes, that means all probabilities are correct, rather cumulative probabilities. Now we think the these probabilities or cumulative probabilities as percentage cumulative pro, uh, frequencies, then it will be suitable for us to go for determination of range of random number because the random numbers are with One or two digits, fifty percent. That means fifty minus one. Starting point is zero and up to forty-nine. Now fifty becomes the lower limit of the next range. Seventy-five minus one, seventy-four. Seventy-five becomes lower limit of this range. Ninety minus one, eighty-nine. Ninety as starting point. Ninety-five minus one, ninety-four. 95 and then 98 minus 197 98 to 99 okay similarly in case no rain on previous day first cumulative probability 0.75 plus 0.15 is 0.90 plus 0.06 is 0.96 and 1 okay so if it is taken as 75% 0 0 2 74 75 minus 1 75 becomes the starting point or lower limit of the next range 90 minus 1 89 90 then 96 minus 1 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95 95
96 and 100 minus 1, 99. Okay. Now, the next part, simulation or simulation experiment for the weather for next 10 days. Okay. First of all, let's remind the last sentence of the case. Assume that there was no rain on the day before the first day to be considered for simulation. So, first of all, why should we assume something like this? Or we can assume that there was a rain. Because we have two probability distributions to have rain on previous day and not to have rain on previous day. For the first day, we need to assume what was the situation yesterday for the purpose of selecting the relevant probability distribution. See, in this case, on first day, now on the basis of assumption, we know that there was no rain yesterday. So, to determine the class, relevant class for this random number, which out of these two probability distributions we should select? We should select this one. Because now we know, just on the basis of assumption, that there was no rain yesterday. If we assume that there was rain yesterday, we should select this probability distribution to determine the class or range of random number. Yes? So, let's take day 1. The random number is 67. And since there was no rain, we should go for this probability distribution. And in this probability distribution, the relevant range for 67 is 0 to 74. Yes? So, I have prepared this column. Every time, it will be easy for you to understand. Yes? The reason behind the conclusion here. Because no rain on previous day. Okay. Now, 67. No rain on previous day. So, distribution number 2. Yes. Okay. And this is the reason why should we select distribution number 2. And what is the conclusion? Random number is 67 that falls in this range and this range shows that the possible event is no rain. Similarly, second day. What is the situation before the second day? That means on first day, no rain. So again for the second day, we should consider this probability distribution. Random number 63 falls in this range. And this range shows the possible event as no rain. Again on second day there is no rain. So for third day no rain on previous day. And we should go for this probability distribution only. Yes. Number is 39. That also falls in this range. And this range predicts that there can be no rain. Every time it is not necessary to write this thing. But to make it easy for you the students. I am writing that thing. Again for fourth day. There was no rain on third day. We should go for selecting this probability distribution. To find the class or range of the random Number random number is 55 that also falls within this range and we can conclude that there will be no rain. Since no rain on fourth day, for fifth day also the situation is same. On previous day there was no rain so we have to select this probability distribution. Random number is 29. It also falls in this range and the prediction remains the same. Okay. On 6th day, sorry, for 6th day also, there was no rain on the previous day. That means day number 5 or 5th day. Random number is 78. 
and since there was no rain on previous day, again we have to go for this probability distribution. Now the random number is 78 which falls in this range 75 to 89 and this range show that there is a possibility of 1 centimeter rain. Yes. One centimeter rain can be expected on sixth day. Now for seventh day, the situation has changed. For seventh day, previous day is sixth, and on that day we predict or we say forecast rain of one centimeter. So for seventh day, there was rain on previous day kind of situation, and we have to select this probability distribution to determine the class of the random variable okay 7 random number is 70 distribution number 1 will be there because rain on 6th day and now 70 according to this distribution 70 falls in the range 50 to 74 that range Suggest that there can be one centimeter rain. So again, for the eighth day also, the same situation is there. On previous day, there was rain. So for the eighth day also, we should select the first probability distribution as there was rain on the previous day or seventh day. Yes. Six. 6 falls in the range 0 to 49 that shows no rain can be there. So again we have arrived at the same no rain situation and hence on 9th day so before 9th day the situation is no rain on previous day hence we have to select this second probability distribution Okay, random number is 78 and according to second probability distribution, 78 falls in the range 75-89 which suggests that there can be 1 centimeter rain. So, for 10th day, the situation is there was rain on previous day, ninth day. Hence we have to select the first probability distribution. See this selection is based on our prediction or forecast only. Yes? Okay, 76. First distribution. 76 falls in the range 75 to 89. That shows that there can be 2 centimeters rain. 2 centimeter. Yes? So this is the weather forecast for next 10 days based on the simulation. That simulation is based on these two probability distributions which we obtained on the basis of the past data. Okay. 1, 2, 3 plus 2. 5 centimeters ran total. So write the first answer or other second answers is there will be 5 centimeters rain, total 5 centimeters rain during the next 10 days. And another question was total number of days without rain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the answer of the question total number of days without rain comes to 6 days. So two conclusions on the basis of the simulation of forecast for next 10 days are number 1. Total number of days without rain 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and total rain possible is 5 centimeters. That's it. I hope this case also is useful for you people to understand the concept of simulation and the say, steps of solving the simulation problem. Yes, don't forget to like this lecture, all my lectures which you watch. And do recommend my lectures, my channel to other students, your juniors, your seniors and all other with whom you come into contact. Yes, thank you. That's it.